Hey guys, welcome to another episode of VTech Academy. You are about to get schooled, and you too also. We are here for the first ever Falcon Tire Super Saloon Shootout. For those of you who don't know what a saloon is, it's not it's a place you, you go get a drink. Yeah, it's where you get drunk. Yeah. yeah. No. It's where you get in a fight and there's a yeah, hooker upstairs. You yeah, tie your horse out up, up, up front. Yeah. Looks like somebody's been down here with the ugly stick. No, a saloon is a sedan. Okay. So it's kind of British. Uh, we're trying to get a little. Uh, uh, top Gear vibe, but not really. So, uh, <laughs> but we have multiple competitions here. So we're here for the first part of the competition, uh, which is two different competitions. We're going to have kind of a head-to-head -head track where the three of us are going to go out on our on this track. We're here at Musselman Honda, who've been nice enough to invite us here to this beautiful track down here in Tucson, Arizona. So we're going to do head-to-head -head out there, and we're going to track our lap times. And we're going to see who's the fastest in their own car out here on the track. And then after that, we got a guest driver. We have local hot shoe. We have a local hot shoe brand from U Wrench, and we'll put a link down in the notes. Uh, he has actually a shop where you can rent a uh, lift or shop space in order to work on your car. Really cool setup. Uh, he's going to be doing the uh, uh, doing a hot laps out on the car and he's going to give us his impressions and he's going to score the cars and see which cars the fastest with him driving and he's very familiar with this track and is very quick out here so that way we kind of take out the skill of the three of us and make it more objective clarity. yeah make it a little more objective uh, that's what we're here for today so no crashing keep yeah. it clean do our best all right let's go get teched so we can get on the track my weapon of choice yeah. Uh, my 2007 Honda Accord value package. Lightly modified. Has a K24 A2. I have a TSX with the matching six speed gearbox. Uh, some D2 Super Race coilovers, I believe they're called. They're nice remote reservoir shock. Fast brakes, uh, Willwood big brake kit at the on the front. And uh, has sport mounts and a side bond hood. It's actually pretty lightly modified. Makes a nice daily. Hope and improve to uh, these lighter weight Civics that double wishbone and five link is worth the price of a larger car that weighs more. Well, it's an Accord. It's even modified. It's inconspicuous. The cops don't really bother me. It's nice and roomy. It's quiet inside. Sound deadening is much nicer than the Civics and stuff like that came with. So it makes it really nice daily. Um, fit four people in all their luggage, drive to California, no problem. And it's just, it gets good enough gas mileage and it's a fun car to drive still. I've had the car for almost a decade now put over 120,000 miles on it. So it's been a good car, it's been reliable. I'm really excited to bring it out here today and kick your guys' ass. The Accord is a TSX. So he's got the engine, he's got the transmission. The only difference is the body style is a little bit different. Basically, this has got double wishbone suspension front and rear. Uh, it could use a few more engine modifications other than just the K24A2 swap, but uh, it's, uh, it's a great car. Uh, every time I hit a bump, the stereo goes out and I have to punch it to get it back on. Uh, it still has drum on the rear. Although that's not really a problem, except for the fact that I couldn't put a rear sway bar on it with drum because the knuckle's different. So that might be an issue. The paint's completely, or the clear coat's completely gone on the hood. Other than that, it's got ice cold AC, good heat, drives dead straight. That on the street sucks. That will shake your fillings loose. Eventually he's gonna break stuff because of it. I think kind of that's why Brian took the suspension that was super harsh in his TSX and, and gave it to Carter under the guise of it's a performance mod. He's he's kind of uh, kind of sabotaging, so that way he locks up a good solid performance. I've been on the free like on the 202 over by Phoenix doing like 85, 90, and had cops pull up next to me and just hit me with their high beams to slow down. 
it doesn't get pulled over. Everybody assumes it's a grandma. It doesn't get pulled over because people think it's a grandma car. You get inside it and you feel like you're in a grandma car. The major drawback of this car is that tan interior. Oh my God, that stuff is horrible. That is the worst interior. The seats are uncomfortable. The color's terrible. I believe that that tan interior is why they created the term fugly. Just because it's just, why? Why would you do that to a car? But, you know, objectively speaking, it sucks. Is it, is it slower than a just a J-Swap Accord? Yes. So, it's kind of like cool TSX swap. You're now as fast as a TSX. Other than that, Carter's car is pretty cool. <laughs> Other than it being totally terrible on the inside, not very good to look at. Overall, I think I'm going to have the red SI handily beat and I'm worried about the black and blue Civic and I really don't want to bank on the clutch going out anymore or having any issues because I'd rather have a fair fight than win by default. I brought Project Black and Blue, my Civic that's been my daily driver for quite some time. Originally picked it up back in 2002 as a theft recovery and it had the first K-series swap in one of these cars using the Hasbro mount kit and it's been developed over the years for different uh, events. I think uh, last time it was actually racing might have been, well, when it caught on fire, uh, which uh, was because it was turbocharged and uh, too much heat built up under the hood and kind of ignited things. But this also was in the uh, Super 4 shootout for Car and Driver Magazine back in like, I don't know, 2007-ish. And uh, it was, uh, second place in the front wheel drive class. It has a TSX motor with TSX transmission. We've upgraded to, uh, to a fast brakes kit, but it's using Boxster calipers, which is kind of cool. Rear disc conversion as well, that's AEM. Uh, slightly bigger rear disc. Uh, it's got, um, of course, the Falcon tires on it. Uh, FNO 1RC uh, wheels. Electronic power steering. We took the EPS from the uh, O2 Civic Si, transplanted that in this so that we could have electronic power steering because there wasn't really room for the power steering pump without cutting the hood. Uh, so it's got that. Um, has MagnaFlow, it has a custom exhaust made with MagnaFlow parts. It's really nice, three inch. Uh, worked really well with the turbo. Has a nice throaty, throaty sound to it. So it's really, really nice. Uh, sounds a lot more uh, aggressive that way. Um, it has progress sway bar or sway bar on it, although it's disconnected right now because the suspension is really stiff and it has progress uh, coilovers front and rear on it as well. That's the setup we originally had. It's got 06 Civic SI Coupe front seats. Uh, the interior has been converted kind of to a darker black color instead of the gray. And actually this car was a 2001 and it has a 2005 bodywork on it. So we took the hybrid bodywork. Uh, it's a little bit carved up in the front. It used to be a little bit more complete with, for the intercooler and stuff, which I don't have anymore. So I need to replace the front bumper. It's actually been hit by a forklift and hit by a truck. And uh, so it's a little bit rough. I think it's gonna do really well. It's got, it's got the big ass brakes. It's got light wheels, good tires. Um, and, and it's lighter than both of our um, my Civic and Carter's Accords. I'm just worried about the power to weight ratio he's gonna have over me. That's the big thing. He's got just as much brakes, if not more, than I have. So that might be an issue, but uh, overall, I, th I think I got a fighting chance on him. Uh, Project Bruce is pretty rough. One time when he was out, he was out visiting me in, in California, and he was like, yeah, I just rear into the car with this. It's, that's how it sits still, so. It drones on the freeway, the exhaust is too loud. It's really fun to drive on the street, but when you try and go for a long drive in it, it just gets way too loud. Although it's the right stiffness and it rides pretty nice. Although I don't like the electric power steering in those cars either. They feel weird. The radio doesn't work. Um, oh no, it works when the headlights are off. When you turn the headlights on, the radio goes out. Uh, but only one speaker works anyways. It, uh, <laughs> most of the clear coat's missing along with some of the paint. And uh, the interior is the wrong color and missing some panels. Because it's my car, I don't really have time to work on it like I should. So it's got a check engine light for Knock sensor, it's got a problem with that. It's got a check engine light for the uh, uh, evap, evap system in it. I need to figure out what's up with that. Uh, the wiring is horrendous. This car was originally an automatic car. 
Uh, when I first did it way back in 2002, uh, I did it inside the car and just kind of hacked stuff together, including the EPS. It's got a check engine light for the EPS too, or a EPS light. Um, so it's got a problem here and there. Other than that, I really don't have any complaints about the car. The car fires up every day, drives like a Honda, everything's good. Uh, it's all fine. The only other drawback was yesterday when we were cleaning this, uh, getting ready to come out for this event. I thought I smelled a little bit of clutch and it looks like the clutch is going out on it. So that's gonna make it a really lame daily driver. So, uh, but that didn't happen until yesterday. So uh, hopefully it should be fine. I brought Project Dadmobile 2007 Honda Civic Si four door. It's my daily driver, I drive it everywhere. The car is pretty stock, but so far it has Progress CS2 coilovers. It has a Progress rear sway bar, 22 millimeter sway bar. It has Koenig hypergrams wrapped in our lovely Falcon tires. It has uh, what you call a hot air intake. I call it engine cold air intake. So other than that, it's pretty much stock. Oh, I got my, I got my uh, Acuity oil cap, <laughs> which is, and I have the, uh, the rear mount from Hasport and the top torque mount from Hasport and that that's made that's made a big difference in, in uh, feel that combined with the the Falcons like you feel a lot more direct power like before I could just I could spin it going all into th third if I wanted to now if I keep the revs up it just grips and just goes I think in the overall competition I'm gonna do fairly well because it it is such a great daily driver daily driver. I love this Generation SI, especially the sedan. It's much better looking than the coupes. By far, Project Dadmobile is my favorite body style of newer Civic. I think this is the best looking car. They're just fun cars. They were well built. They're in the right generation still from Honda to just be still light enough and small enough to make a good Civic. They're just, they're, they're all around good, good looking, fun drive car. And it handles well for having strut front suspension and the multi-link rear end. I think Honda did an excellent job of this. Uh, I think this car, actually with a K24 supercharged or with a, a J series in it would be absolutely the best car for a daily driver. I would love to have it. I, I think it's an amazing car. It still has a two liter in it. Who actually keeps a two liter in that heavy of a car? Uh, the California plate's a problem too because then you can't modify anything. I think the registration's the biggest problem. Should be in Arizona. And we start having some fun. Yeah, the only the thing that would make this car the fast would be a driver mod. So it's going to be interesting to see what uh, what happens when uh, our guest driver goes out in this and blasts it around the track a little bit. It's going to be interesting to see uh, how fast it is. But uh, there's nothing really bad about this car. The only problem is that this particular thing, two liter motor, a little bit heavy. I think the biggest thing for this car specifically, especially for a track day, is going to be the stock front brakes. I think those are going to go quickly when driven hard. You know, they're good enough for a few hard stops, but trying to put down some fat slaps might run into some issues. That's why, that's why I make sure my car is super clean so I can try to get as many points in the non-track stuff as possible to, to at least stay competitive in this, in the, in the shootout. My name is Brandon Welsh. I'm down here in Tucson. I own a shop called U Wrench, which is a DIY automotive shop. We have lifts and tools and a paint booth for everyone to use. I've helped a lot of people pick up time, uh, which I'm hoping to do with you know Aaron and Brian and Carter if they have any questions about the track. I've also set up a lot of events here and helped run events for people. So yeah, I've, I've had a few times around the track here and. Uh, I love that they asked me to come out here and try the cars out and give my opinion just because it's close to home and 
it's just a nice little go-kart track to feel a car. As for the cars that are here today, um, I'm really interested more in Project Dadmobile. It's a little biased, but it's because I drove it a few years back, so I want to see how it's progressed. The other ones, um, I know they have really stiff suspension and, uh, you know, they're more lean towards track day car than everyday car. So I'm anxious to see how those feel. I know Carter said there was no rear sway bar on his, which I don't know how I feel about that with his spring setup. Brian's is a little bit better with no sway bar in his springs, um, but Project Dadmobile got a rear sway bar put on, so I'm, I, I want to see how that feels. Um, also, I want to see how the difference in the, the suspension from the Accord to the two Civics is. Because I know, like, the double wishbone suspension of like, my, my CRX and everything, I know the feel of that. I haven't done too much tracking with regular McPherson struts. And I know I, I, I'm not a fan of it because they don't get a lot of camber in the front. And it's really nice for turns. Uh, so, we'll see. The brakes, though. I know two of them will probably exceed with brakes here and dad mobile i might have to be nice or just do a couple laps just to make sure that they stay brakes <laughs> It was an old issue. Uh -oh. So as they're going around the corner, I hear thumping in the back. And before, I'd always told people, just sway bar. So I went out there and it was actually pretty loud. And I'm like, oh my God, something's seriously wrong. So I pull in, turns out I have one of the end links off the sway bar mm -hmm. and it's clumping against metal. Uh, anyway, that's uh, all. I was worried that it was something Terminal? Bad, bad. Yeah. No, bad, no, bad. it's See, it's good. Shoot the video beforehand. <laughs> yeah. No, no, it's good. And the clutch seemed to be okay. So okay. we'll take it out for some hot laps on the next time out. How do I feel out there? God, I haven't driven forever. I'm exhausted already. Ah, <laughs> uh, car felt good. It pushed like I expected it to, but it was fairly neutral. Did so, it, did it push real good? Push real. No, it didn't push that bad. It pushed just the right amount to be under, to be, you could deal with it. So, other than that, it's pretty good. Brakes worked really well. God, I hate driving in a stock seat though. That was the miserable part about yeah, all yeah, of it. Yeah, moving all over. There you go. Little, oh, you're a little wide there, a little probably wide. a little, yeah, turn in a little sooner. Okay. And then let this one come out and then just come back in. So going out with Aaron was good. He, uh, he was picking it up. He was remembering the last time he was here for the track and everything. Um, I wish I could have stayed out more with him, but my stomach's not the greatest when I'm passenger. The car sickness is getting me. Oh, it is? Yeah. I took Dremamine too, but. Okay, sorry. <laughs> no, 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 you're fine. Um, also, his driving's not the best for a passenger anyway. Well, his. His driving, it, it definitely uh, uh, could be better, but he's not terrible. Um, I was going to go over with him one of the back corners that way. He, uh, he understands it a, a little bit more of what I was trying to portray. Um, it's also one of the most tricky corners here, which is weird because it doesn't seem like it should be. All right, we're on a, a little break right now from, from the track action. Brian's having some kind of, uh, some kind of suspension issue. We think maybe it was just riding on bump stop and then the bump stop got destroyed. I did two sessions so far in Project Jackmobile. For most of the first session, I did have uh, Brandon driving with me. But yeah, Jackmobile's done great. The brakes and the tires and everything just working really well together. And and I can, you know, compared to the last time I was here with it, it's it feels tighter. Like it feels, there's way, so many thousand more miles in the car, but it feels tighter. So much more grip. With, with the Falcons because, man, 
compared to a, like a regular all season all season performance tire, these Falcons are just you can see why they're top dog for a long time. I mean, now they have the 660s, but these 615s, 615 plus Ks, they're pretty dope. And and with with the Koenig wheel, it's it's a good light setup that that grips. from two laps. Two laps. Two laps. So, uh, Brandon took the cars around and, uh, I'm going to announce the lap times and then you can tell us what you thought of the cars. So in last place was my Civic, which I did not expect at all. Uh, the TSX. He did a 107.406. A bump. But it was close. Cool. Right. I was fighting it. Yeah. Second place was the Accord. Oh, yeah? At a 106, 128. Right. Just you where I thought I would. Yeah. <laughs> And in first place, surprise, surprise, Pacific SI. Probably because it's mostly stock. Holy, <laughs> I did not expect it to be the, the quickest. That's, no, that's amazing. Oh, we didn't hear the time. Yeah, we didn't oh, hear the time. Yeah, Civic SI. 103.8 seconds faster. It wasn't even close. Sad mobile on the for, track the win. for the win. That's pretty impressive. I, I thought to be that is up the rear like yeah. by a good long shot. Yeah, we're well, well, we are we get, get the times of us? Uh oh, yeah, we'll yeah. do that. We'll do that. Well, when we get back. I to know the for sure I'll be right. bring up the rear. Yeah. So uh, black and blue. Um, we did have trouble with it throughout the day, so I was doing my best to uh, drive the car. There was the noise that we still don't really know what it is. Yeah, um, I was just kind of. It's now an audible thing, like the exhaust. I've just kept going with it. Although, it didn't want to turn left, but it loved to turn right. Yeah. Which makes me wonder what that noise actually is, because the others, like, I, I felt it kind of, like, go, like, dip down and, like, kind of want to dig in for right turns. And oh, when really? you went to turn left, it was kind of... Skipping? Stiff. No, it was just stiff going left. So, 
we actually raised it a little bit on the left. Maybe we should have raised it a little on the right. Maybe we were bottoming out. Could be. So, interesting. The actual power of black and blue was kind of hindering. Just because in the other two cars, I was able to get on the gas and stay floored. And just, I'm on it, we're pulling, good. Where black and blue, I'd get on it, lose traction on one side. It might have been, I don't know, me or something going on with it, but I would just lose traction coming in the corner. So I had to sit there and, and meter it. Although the brakes being the only one without ABS. I loved them. That was my favorite. They were the most consistent out of the day. Um, every time I hit them, I knew exactly where the brakes were going to be. I knew how I was going to feel. Blue was definitely fun, but I wasn't able to get very fast with it. Shucks. Dang it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So the Accord with a 106, 128. The Accord. The, the Accord felt good. Where is it? There's the Accord. Uh, the Accord felt really good. Um, I could definitely tell the Accord needs a rear sway. Oh yeah. Um, it was going into a corner, it was leaning, having traction, and then every once in a while I was just like, and eh, now we don't because there's no sway bar back there. But yeah, I still can't believe Dad will be one. Speaking of. Speaking of. Speaking of. Oh. Speaking of. Uh, so Dad Mobile, um, which I know what, it was like four or five years ago when I drove it, yeah, yeah. I said, put a sway bar. And I'm glad you put one on yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> See? Um, on time. Yeah, right, perfect. And honestly, like that, coming around the corner, where the other ones, you know, I'd come around the corner, I'd stab it, and I would just kind of watch the outside lane come to me. Where in Dadmobile, I'd go and I could just feel it continually pulling me around. Granted, I think it's the only one here with LSD. Yep. Yeah, true. So that helps as well. Um, but the turn in, the consistency of it, it seemed, I don't know why, but I know they're all the same tires. I know they all have different weights, but that one seemed to be more planted. Everything oh. that's on it went on the last week and never was tested or done anything with. For, for hodgepodge, it's great. <laughs> I did a lot of testing on Deadmobile. A lot of drives to my kids' school, a lot of drives to uh, the beach. Well, it's it's still it's still better than week before. Don't drive it. <laughs> um, and and well, it's the other thing too. Like with Dadmobile, I know. Like I don't even think I turned off the VSA. Yeah, so I forgot to tell you to turn off the VSA. I could I could have picked up probably more with the VSA off. But now it just would have been unfair. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 calm down. Yeah. Hey, okay, I've I've talked up Dadmobile. I I do have a gripe. I hate that gas pedal. I don't know. Is, Do there need to be a heavier spring? I, it, I don't think it's the spring. It's it's because the gas pedal in that one pivots from the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it doesn't have much movement. There's a lot of times where I was floored, but I literally was coming out of the corner going, can I push more? No, I can't push more. Okay, I guess it is floored. I will say one thing though. Mm. Those Falcon Azenis are great. Oh yeah. They were they were That's consistent. Awesome. Yeah. They were they were fun. They held traction even even though we had the open diff with the powerful car, um, I was able to meter it without pulling completely off the gas and keeping it. Um, I will say with Carter's car getting off the gas, it, it grabbed really hard in the front, so it helped me rotate it when I was trying to fight it. Um, but yeah, cool. Well, that's so awesome. a win for the Falcons and for you. Yeah, uh, right. yeah, I can't believe it. It's so weird. Yeah, it's very weird. <laughs> you guys got you got to you guys got to save it now in the rest of this for the modified people. I'm having the uh, uh, times for uh, us three sent back, so we'll get back to the shop and we'll review our personal times and see who won that part of the competition. Okay guys, we're here to hand out the silver spark plug, actually the platinum spark plug. This particular competition is based off of our lap times at Muscleman, running the Falcon Tires, because this is the Falcon Tire Super Saloon Shootout. <laughs> so, here we go. Uh, in no particular order, Brian. That's me. Uh, this Brian, not that Brian. Oh, yeah, yeah, Brian. 
108.918 in the black and blue Civic. That's pretty close to what what Brandon ran, right? Yeah, really close. Yeah, he was he was close to that time time as well. All right. Sec, uh, the second time is Carter. This feels like a particular order. At oh yeah, <laughs> it was accidental though. Okay. Anyway, so a one twelve point five two five. Not my best show. The car. The car went faster than I did, but Brandon drive. Okay, so all right. So driver mod. Driver mod. Yeah, loose not connecting the steering wheel to the seat. <laughs> Sorry. All right. And last, but certainly not, not least, Aaron's lap time. Wait, I want it to be least. Yeah. <laughs> I want it to be the okay. least lap time. This right, is so like golf, right? freight lowers better. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Last, but not worst. Okay. And not last. All right. Aaron with a 108.113. Oh. Fastest time. Faster than Faster the black and than blue the black and blue car. Dang. That's good. Oh. Crap. Modified cars, mostly stock Most cars. Stuck. I mean, tell me tell about your mod. You've got the Falcon tires, which so, we all had. So yeah, so that was, that was that's a walk. Yeah. That just lets you bring the potential of the car up. That just sure. helps you show you the potential. Yeah. Uh, the super light Koenig uh, hypergrams. Yeah. The progress coilovers. Yes. And the progress uh, rear sway bar. Very good. I I have to say honestly. Your improvement as a driver since the last time you went out there is huge. Did you go out and take any laps with anybody and get any instruction? Um, I did one like exotic cars lapping day out at uh, exotic cars, California in a GTR. Yeah. Which is completely like an FA five. <laughs> Almost exactly. And yeah. then at exotic cars in Las Vegas, I got to drive the NSX. Out of their their laughing thing, which like uh, somebody tell me what to do. You know, I think in Japan they call the FA five baby Godzilla, right <laughs> in there the GTR. But the NSX was way I was way quicker in the NSX, but it was just I had more experience from cool. the other track day. Very good. Well, when your first visit to that track, you right. actually went out there with the EG and weren't nearly as fast, but this time you were smoking. So congratulations, here's yes. your trophy. We need that. That. We're going to need it for uh, one of the other competitions, so I'll take it back. All right. Uh, but we can freeze the frame so you can show you. Okay. <laughs> so it looks like you actually have it. So anyway, congratulations. That's a huge, huge improvement. For and, and that car is obviously fast. Yep. Faster than my modified ES2 and faster than your Accord. What surprises me? I made mistakes with the Accord's modifications. Okay. Oh, that's right. I'm you, gonna made a, you made a suspension change, right? That was yeah. inappropriate. That was inappropriate. Yeah, I think that was, that was a poor choice. Yeah. And I think my... Honestly, not unplugging the ABS, I think, hurt the car a lot, too. Because the agree. ABS was way restrictive on how hard you could yeah. ram. I, I think my big problem was my suspension was from 2000... It was broken. Three. Yeah. So it was a little bit... With 60-ish thousand miles on it? Yeah, plus that car has done so many... It's done a lot of other track days, so it's been it's not been an easy life. It's been beat up on. So uh, yeah. So, but that's fine. Uh, I've seen more modifications, and we'll see if we can't catch your car and uh, get a little bit faster. Yeah, I'm just know. I'm just surprised because it's not it's not the part of the competition that I thought my car would shine in. Yeah. Well, yeah. Again, you're a big part of it. So, and then Brandon, Brandon. went really fast in it. Yeah, no. the brakes were just smoking, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. and they're just, they're just some like Bosch like OEM replacement pads that were in there. Oh, that was funny. Well, so well, I think Brandon went faster in my car than he went in your car, though. He was. Yeah. My suspension was right, yeah. and uh, so he and I both were like like right there together. So, but yeah. Next up is uh, the uh, popularity contest. Yes. Go. Instagram voting with a special guest star. That's right. And uh, then we have the 
car show judging. Oh yeah, car so, show. You care a lot about car show. Oh yeah, it's my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> it's like a strength. It is. It really is. Yeah. I love all the prep work and the detail of cleaning the cars. It's so much fun. A clean car, there's nothing that makes me happier than a clean car. It can be slow as long as it's clean. <laughs> So not true. Uh, well, you got the slow part down. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and the brittle. Hey, next time around, I don't think it's going to be the same. So I got to enjoy what I can. Got to enjoy it again. All right, guys. Hey, so thank you again for joining us for another episode of Vitek Academy. And I hope you enjoyed uh, the first part of the Falcon Tire Super Lunch Show. Thank you very much. For that. Exactly. <laughs> thank you very much for joining us for the Falcon Tire Super Lunch Show. And uh, we will see you soon with uh, the second half. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, tell all your friends that don't even like comments about it. Yeah, exactly. A lot of fun. Yeah. Watch it on all of your devices at the same time. More views we get, the better it is. All right. Yep. It's all about us. <laughs> Watch yourself. I almost died. <laughs>